It wasn't about the fashion. It was about the women. That's what a supermodel is. Fashion trends come and go, but supermodels stay forever. The 1990s were the heydays of the supermodel era. These were times when runway models were so popular that they were recognized globally by first name only. At the center of this phenomenon were Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Linda Evangelista, and Christy Tallingen. Even though we all look very different, we all looked good together. Each had a unique appeal, and together they dominated the modeling world. Naomi Campbell is often referred to as the queen of the catwalk. She broke barriers as one of the first black models to attain international fame and redefine standards of beauty and diversity. I would do all these great shows, wear all these beautiful dresses, but then it would come time to the advertising and I would not be included. I wasn't going to be bullied for the colour of my skin. She was only 15 when she was discovered by a scout while shopping in a London store. A lady came up to me called Beth and she gave me her card and said, you know, you could model and I was quite surprised how she all my girlfriends who really like beautiful blonde hair and blue eyes. Her signature, Naomi Walk, was a combination of grace, power and confidence, and countless modern day models are trying to recreate it. Aside from her talents, Naomi is also known for her fiery temperament. She has been accused of committing acts of violence 11 times and convicted of four assault cases. I have made plenty of mistakes. I'm a human being. I'm a work in progress. One of the most notorious incidents was when she hit her assistants while in a fit of rage. But I can own my mistakes and what I've done and learn from it, apologize from it. Cindy Crawford is the embodiment of the all-American girl next door. She began her journey to stardom in high school after being discovered by a local photographer. Just from people saying, oh, you should be a model, and slowly I got a little interested in it. And she still went on to graduate as valedictorian of her class. Cindy's classic good looks, especially the famous beauty mark above her lip, caught the attention of the fashion industry. But she rebelled against her clean and wholesome reputation by posing nude for Playboy magazine in 1988. Like, no one understood why I did that. I don't know why, it just felt right. This controversial choice ended up launching her into even greater heights of success. I was not seen as a person who had a voice in her own destiny. Cindy could seamlessly transition between high fashion and commercial modeling. She could grace the cover of Vogue one moment and then appear in a Pepsi commercial that would become iconic in its own right. Linda Evangelista is known as the chameleon of the modeling world. She was scouted at the age of 16 and what set her apart was her ability to adapt herself to every photo shoot and runway appearance. She could go from sexy bombshell to androgynous enigma in the blink of an eye. Linda recognized the value of her talent. I'm difficult, okay? I know you are. <laughs> in an industry where models were often underpaid and overworked, her famous quote, we don't wake up for less than $10,000 a day, made headlines. In 2022, Linda opened up about a botched cosmetic surgery that left her disfigured. Do you see the angle of my arms? I can't put them next to my body because this bulge is making them veer off in an angle. Versace won't want to dress me with that sticking out of my body. This sparked a conversation about aging in the industry and the pressure models feel to hold on to their beauty. Christy Turlington earned the nickname The Face for her beautiful and symmetrical features. She began modeling at the age of 14 after a photographer spotted her riding on a horse. I thought I would do it between, you know, while I was doing school and make a little bit extra money. At the age of 20, she signed a record-setting seven-figure contract as a new face of Calvin Klein. Christy signed another contract as the new face of Maybelline in 1992. The following year, she was named Face of the 20th Century by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The mannequins that are in use at the Custom Institute have always been special. The new ones were modeled on the face of Christy Turlington. And they created a line of mannequins in her likeness. After experiencing complications during the birth of her first child, Christy became an advocate for maternal health. She founded the organization Every Mother Counts in 2010. Lindy, Linda, Christy and Naomi are still redefining what it means to be a model. What I loved about the girls, they were a group. A pivotal moment in defining the supermodel era came in 1990, when the British Vogue cover featured these four powerhouses together with Tajina Patitz. We were always together and we made great photos together. You know, I just felt like to be together as a group, it just was so fun. The grouping of several top models attracted significant attention. If George Michael wants to shoot us in his video. We made a decision, I will do it. I'm gonna do it. Yes, okay, I'll do it. Freedom! They were all called back to appear in George Michael's Freedom 90 music video. In 1991, the big four simultaneously walked the runway at the Versace Couture Show. This moment is widely regarded as the official debut of the supermodel phenomenon. Everything changed. You can start to call the shots and be an active participant in your career. Naomi, Cindy, Linda, and Christy became household names all over the world, and they proved that models could be more than just clothes hangers.